Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a couple of simple variations of roofs and houses that you can build with your Kiva planks. So once you know how to build the basic structure and the roof, then you can start to explore different techniques and ways that you can make all the roofs look unique and different. Um, so you'll need your Kiva planks and an open space. So go ahead and find those and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a simple house here. Um, I would say this one takes about 30 planks. I haven't counted exactly, but that's um, about what it looks like. So um, the first thing we're going to do is create a base for our house. And the reason why we do that is in case you're making multiple houses and you need to actually move them. If you create a base like this, then you can move the house more easily than if you just had something like this where you have to try to move two planks. So I like to start with five planks and that's different than this one just because I added a doorway for this one. So you're definitely more than welcome to do that. But for this, I'm going to start with five planks. Then you can add either start by laying your planks this way or um, you can set them upright so it looks more like a window that you're um, adding into your house. So you can add even four across like that. And then you can decide whether you're going to put the planks upright like this or you can go flat again. It's really up to you. And you can see even just by adding a couple of difference of laying flat and then more on their side that it visually looks different compared to that one. But same, the same principles are, are applied here. And I think I'll do one more layer, just flat. And now I'm gonna go ahead and close off this structure so I can start working on the roof. Um, to do that, you'll just lay five planks across. One thing you can do, five planks across equals the length of one plank this way, but if you wanted to add that overhang to your roof, you could even add an extra plank and just be careful with this one. Um, if it falls, if one of the planks falls, that's okay, but you might need to go ahead and add a reinforcing block on top. And once you do that, then your planks should be more secure that way. So as you can see, this already looks a little different from this roof, but it uses the same principles of laying flat or on their side. So you can start to play here with whether you're going to um, for example, if I put one here, I can go ahead and lay some planks on an angle at the same time because if I just put one, then it would fall. So by putting them together at the same time, then it creates that balance. And this is all just with a delicate hand. And then you can start thinking about wanting, if I'm wanting to build it up more, maybe I'll add a plank on top like this, and then another plank like that. And then if I wanted to maybe close that one up, I could do that. Um, let's see. Then maybe to make it look a little bit more like it's going up, then I might do something like this. So you can see this already looks different from this one, but it still has the same properties as far as going, starting wide and getting smaller up at the top. So um, you can add planks flat on their side or even on an angle to add some different dimension to your roof. If you're wanting to build a house that's two length, uh, two plank lengths wide, then I'll show you how to do that right now. We're gonna start with two planks going this way and two going this way. It doesn't have to be exact. You can always move the planks whether you want, if you want it to look more like a log cabin, for example, the planks might be closer in and a little more uh, random as far as placing them. 
and it might go like this. So it looks more like a naturally built house. If you wanted to be more precise like this, you would just maybe use an extra plank to measure the width out and use these as straighteners for your house. So like the single length of the plank house that I did earlier, um, this is just extending a design to two plank flanks. So you can get creative with the windows in this, with this structure as well. If I was gonna add more on their side like this. We're just going to lay, lay those across like that. And then if I'm going to add some more height quickly, then I'll put these up on their side like this. You can even try to add a door or um, some extra planks inside to add some ornamental looks to your house. So this is just a simple way to build a, a keep a house. All right, and once we've done that, you can build it as tall as you want or you can build smaller houses that are all about the same size. Once I do that, I'm gonna lay these two planks lengthwise. And then that is our base for our house. Now I'll start with the roof. So since it was five planks, this way for one length of the plank, I'm gonna lay 10 across. Okay. Now once I've done that, I can start I'll show you a really simple roof like this one first. So if you just take two planks like this and you're gonna lay two planks. I like to do them at the same time just so I can see if it lines up well. And then you'll just carefully place the rest of the planks that way. So that just creates a quick, simple roof. like so. If you wanted to get a little more creative with that, um, you could build, if you lay these diagonally and just build upon each one, almost stacking them like a domino effect, then it creates a flatter roof, but more like a, a thatched Spanish style roof. Like so, and do that. Um, you can even add a little bit more height to the middle if you wanted by just playing around with laying planks side on their side or, or upright. Let's see, I can show you. If you wanted to get a little bit more design in your roof, you could add gaps between some of the planks. And um, the cool thing about Kiva planks are three going this way equals one width this way. Once you know those calculations, then you can start to notice that if I build three up like this, it's going to be the same if I lay one this way. And then if I just go down even more by adding two planks here, oops, two planks here, and then maybe I'll even go one more upright just to add some more height differentiation. And then one plank there. Um, I can even add some interesting planks at that height and then add one more here and 
just like that, you've built a roof that looks very unique and different, but very similar layouts as far as going flat and on their side. So um, that's how you would make different roofs and structures for your house. Well, I hope you guys enjoy following along with me. Um, we'd love to see what you create using the hashtag Kiva Planks. We'd love to see the different houses that you build. Um, you can even build a whole neighborhood full of, of Kiva houses, and it really creates something that's um, incredible to look at as well as um, a great way to spend your time. So glad you guys could join me.